In this video episode delves into a third generation of capture sensor developed by Haltech. In comparison to the early V1 and V2 models released in 2017, the V3 version both several enhancements. The ESP32 S3 serves as master controller, while the A61262 Nora chip, a building 250 mAh battery, replaced sensors make up a recent feature. Haltex has also announced its intentions to launch an NRA5280 MCU version in the future, which will further improve the device power consumption efficiency. This video below provides a closer look at the V3 version features. The capture sensor V3 is now smaller, approximately the size of the outer thumb. The object is slightly smaller than coin with a diameter of the 25 millimeters. The device features charge button, new traditional physics button design choice that contribute to overall aesthetic and waterproofing of structure. that the dimension of the, for this product as follows. Out nine size comprised the diameter is the 28.8 millimeters. Total is of 48.2 millimeters. Located at the base of the device, there is a magnetic charging port which facilitates a charging of the device through a delicate cable. And the package will include nanner as well as a dedicated 5V magnetic charging cable. During the convenience of torch buttons with just a single click, when now pressed and activate various functions, easily switch on and off, send messages, enter configuration mode, and more. It's effortless and user friendly. The amazing capture sensor V3 is designed with a removable bottom, allowing for flexibility in sensor usage and endless possibilities. We are thrilled to share that we have deployed, developed the Catalina GPS module that simply is connected to the capture sen sensor body through the BDB connector. Additionally, our value partner, Heltech, will soon unveil a range of specialized modules that boost uniform connector in strategic locations to enable effortless interchangeability and enhanced functionality. Our magnetic connector, connector connects seamlessly to the base plate. using reliable spring noted pins and two M2 screws for added security. We are excited to offer our device with a motor design. These features provide endless possibilities for customization, allowing you to use various sensors and functional modules to create the perfect solutions for unique needs. With this added flexibility, you will be able to bring your ideas to life more quickly and more effectively. Our torch area features a sneak semi-transparent white plastic with a hidden LEDs that can be programmed to indicate a varied state through short noun or constant blinking. We're excited to offer these versatile and attractive options to enhance your user experience. Trying to upgrade firmware, you may have noticed that the device only has a charging port and no USB port. How can we perform the upgrade? Aptek has developed a wireless boot to make the device smaller in size and give it a cleaner look. It is combined of the ODA wireless server port that can run into the uh, bootloader. Firmware upgrade can be done while on the web page, and programming can be done through IDE like Arduino and Platform IO. It can be interacted with like a UART. Once you enter a wireless boot by non pressing touch arrow, the capsule will well created Wi Fi hotspot access in this hub going to the 192.168.41 port. 
uh, address through your browser will naturally configure the Wi-Fi information. We've configured the Wi-Fi information for the router that your capture will connect to. Just like make sure your practical computer is on the same name. And once you submit it, your capture, your capture soul will be ready to connect to Wi-Fi. It's so easy. If everything is working properly, you should see the wireless boot device listed on your router configuration page. Once you reach this point, you will be able to access device configuration page over your name. Let's launch the latest version of the Arduino IDE. If everything works properly, you should see that work board in the Arduino IDD port. We're excited to share a knock printing demo. We compiled and downloaded wirelessly into the, into the capsule. Check it out. Open network monitor. Please follow these steps. If you don't see any information now, put on the first page. Um, it could be due to the snow network refresh. To fix this, you can try switching to traditional serial port and then back to network port. This will complete a manual refresh operation. This program constantly print logs, warnings, and error messages. Capture Sensor V3 is equipped with a built-in NORA NOR chip, which allows for peer-to-peer -peer communication to communication with a gateway. In this example, we will run NORA 1 test uploading the data to the server. Procedure remains the same. Select the work for network board, compile and download the program. Upon completion, the program will be automatically run from the app tree partition. For the network server, we use a well-known the things network. It is necessary to have the NORA1 gateway for NORA communication, and we have already set up and registered uh, the gateway. If everything is fine, you can see the app link information in application now. TTA, it may be necessary to configure it. The latest data has already been paralyzed. For the definition of this data, please refer to the following table. Heltech will need an English version and applet documentation page in the future. As the GPS experiment was detected indoors, no location information could be obtained, resulting in zero data. Meshtastic is a recent and extremely popular open source project that uses NORA technology to create a network devices that can transmit data over long distances. The network can communicate with a cell phone app while Bluetooth, allowing users to send messages to their locations and more. Since it can operate in areas with no LTE network coverage, it provides an important means of emergency communication. To repeat the process, confidently navigate to the capsule's configuration page and use a user-friendly web interface to flash the device with the pre-compiled Mestache firmware. This will bring excitement and new capabilities to your device. To start, please erase the firmware in the app and flash app partitions.
base partition is where the device stores its configuration information including Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, and pairing and more. If you erase this partition, you will be need to configure this device. It is important to know that erasing this partition will, will result in loss of device configuration data. So process with caution. The mesh static firmware enables mesh task functions by flashing the app partition. The input flash app partition is intended for the firmware upgrade while Bluetooth. However, it is currently not necessary as a MeshTastic cell phone app does not support this function yet. This step is simply operation for the future release of the app well, that will enable firmware upgrade while Bluetooth. After refresh the complex, um, click run in the app partition to reboot this device. The program will run from the partition by default in the future. Here we have to set up two mesh testing devices to conduct the communication tasks between the two cell phones, interact the interfaces, and we coordinate it. Again, connect each Bluetooth device to the, its corresponding frequency band. Make sure to set the working frequency, frequency for each device accordingly. To join the channel, please scan the code. Through the mesh testing network, you can communicate via text, share locations, and perform other operations.